Hi and welcome to another installment of Math Basics with Mr. Besh. Today we're going to take a look at the distance formula and I'm going to teach you just in general how you read a formula. First, formulas are made up of letters. Letters are referred to as variables and what they do is they hold place value for numbers that you substitute in for. So you read the word problem and each of these letters is going to represent a number in the word problem. Now see you look at this as D equals ST. But what it truly means is that the distance is equal to the speed multiplied by the time. A sample problem would look like this. A car travels at a rate of 50 miles per hour for four hours. What was the distance the car traveled? Now before we begin, anytime you see two letters side by side in an algebraic expression, it is implying multiplication. So ST means S times T. So then, if the car is traveling 50 miles per hour and it goes for 4 hours, then the distance is going to be 50 times 4, which is 200, and then you want to make sure that you properly label. So now, 200 miles traveled will be my answer to this question. Now, I want you to take a, another closer look at the formula itself, because there's a rule of thumb. For as many letters as you have in the math formula, that is the number of ways that you can rearrange it. You see, the distance formula is not just used to find distance. You see, we can rearrange this formula to find both speed and time. For instance, if we find the distance by taking the speed times the time, then it only makes sense that we could actually find the speed by taking the distance divided by the time. And sometimes you get examples like this. So now if your car's traveling for five hours, and you went a total distance of 275 miles, then now you can actually find the speed of this going back to this formula and taking the distance divided by the time. So then 275 miles divided by 5 hours will give us a speed that is 55 miles per hour. And just take your time and make sure you label correctly. And then also, if I'm finding my speed in that example, then I can clearly, just as easily, find my time in this one. You see, the time is found by taking the distance divided by your speed. So then another example could be then if you, your car traveled at 35 miles per hour and went a total distance of 105 miles, then rearranging the formula again in such a fashion where your time is equal to your distance divided by your speed, you could take the 105 miles divided by the 35 miles per hour and that would come out to be three hours of travel time. And this is the distance formula. I hope you find this both helpful and informative.